Right, in this video, we've looked at solving linear inequalities, so this time we're going to look at solving quadratic inequalities. And I just want to quickly tell you about the method, first of all, before we start. What we'll first do is we'll set it as an equation. So we'll just change the inequality sign to an equal sign and make it an equation and we'll... But we'll have to remember to make sure it's in this form because you don't solve equations in any other form. That's the only form that the methods really work for. And then we can use one of the three methods we've learned. So we can factorise, we can complete the square, or we can use the quadratic formula. And then the last thing we do is when we've done that we sketch a graph but we only put the roots on this time, we don't put the minimum, maximum or minimum point or the y intercept or anything like that because for this topic we don't need them. So, and I just want to let you know as well that it's important that x, do you remember that x squared looks like this and minus x squared looks like that when you're sketching the graph. I know I've mentioned it before but it's very important so I just wanted to quickly mention it again. Just so you know it's still important for this as well. So let's start. Here's my first example. I've got this inequality here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this sign here and I'm just going to write it as an equals. Now that's not the same thing as that but this is just the first step of the method. And then this one's going to factorise so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factorise this one. I'm going to get x plus 5 and then x minus 2 and then I'm going to get me two solutions x equals minus 5 or x equals 2 and then we'll sketch the graph it's going to be this shape because it's a Now, remember we want we want this great that's not equal to zero. So we want either of these to be or both of them at the same time so what we're gonna do is we'll look for the sections on this graph here that are for x values that are greater than or equal to zero so these points here notice that these points are the roots so these are equal to zero and any points along here or along there because look the axis is above here so the values are greater than or equal to zero so then we'll salute that's gonna be the answer so we're gonna get x's less than or equal to minus 5 or x is greater than or equal to 2 those are going to be your solutions as you can see those x values make it make this greater than not equal to 0 this thing here that's example 1 
Next one's x squared minus 16 greater than 0. We know that that factors into difference of two squares. Well, at least we should be able to do this quickly, but if you can't, it doesn't matter. And so then again, same method, sketch the graph. I want to be greater than, so it's going to be day and day. So, my solution this time is going to be x less than minus 4 or x greater than 4. Those are going to be your solutions for this one. And notice it can't be both at the same time so we need the O in the middle and we'll have the two inequalities and write it like that. Now this one isn't in the right form so what we're going to do is we're going to move this over it's going to become a minus and everything else here is fine. So now on that side I've got zero. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply everything by minus one. So we can get just an x squared, so I'm gonna get x squared minus two x minus three is less than or equal to zero. And then let's see if this will factor. I think this one should actually factor. This one here should actually be an equation because we change it to an equation. So we're going to have x minus 3, x plus 1. That will work. And we'll get x is 3, or x equals minus 1. And then again, we'll sketch our graph. which we might know what it's going to look like. It's going to have a 3 and minus 1. And this time we want values greater than, so it's going to be all this bit here. But from, from these points as well. Because you see, these points are below. Sorry, so I want this region here. And the values are going to lie in a range. This time we're going to have x's smaller than or equal to 3. That's going to be how I write the range, because it can be equal to minus 1, it can be equal to 3, or it can lie between the two. So we'll write it like that, because it can satisfy both of those properties at once. Right, notice we can move the 3 over so we'll get minus. And then we'll rewrite that in a better form, which would be this, because we'll like that better. And then again, this one will factorise. I just made them all like that so that we could get food a bit better. And we're going to get. Let's see, we're going to get a plus here, and one and minus there, so that'll work. We're going to get two values here, we're going to get a 
and of course sketch. And it lies in this range here. Sorry, these ranges. And we know how you write that. Because I showed you in the last two videos, so we'll have to stop there because I'm running out of time.